Hello, hello to all of my wonderful Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Let me see if I can move these cards around so we can make a little bit of room here before I get started. I hope you all are having a great day today, Scorpios. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set, right, Scorpios? Yes, indeed. We have a waxing moon. <laughs> yes, coming out of the new moon, we have a waxing moon. I think it's like it. I'm going to say 22%, 23, maybe more percent. But yes, 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 yes. And what that means for everybody. Listen, we know when we see a waxing moon, we know that the moon is illuminating um, more. It's it's growing. The, the moon's illumination is growing, right? So you know that the moon governs our emotions and our moods, right? So what's happening with a lot of Scorpios during that time is we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, before I shuffle the cards. I mean, after I shuffle the, shuffle the cards, the, this is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, please contact me via my website at queenamunra.com. These are the Light Sears Tarot Deck cards by Chris Ann. And these Oracle cards are the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed. Yes, 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 yes. So we'll pick one of those in the end. We're also going to be talking about the numbers 18 and the number 9. And we're going to be talking about the letter R, right? But how this moon is affecting everybody more. Everybody's becoming more and more illuminated from the inside out as if you weren't already illuminated from the inside out. But some people are really starting to understand just how powerful the moon is and that it governs our moods and our emotions. Right. So for a lot of Scorpios, um, um, how it's affecting you all is that you're focusing on just pulling people that's near and dear close to you, right? Your foundation, your roots, healing, you know, um, um, getting in touch with, you know, with, um, you know, parts of your heart from a psychological standpoint, right? Outside interests may um, be important to you, but this is about honoring your own needs, right? Taking the time to just kind of sort of honor your own needs and just a time for replenishing. So that's what's happening with you all right now. So that's what, you know, you're illuminating from the inside more and more and more. And of course, you're starting to see things a lot clearer and moving forward and what it is that you want to do and how you want your relationships to look for look like moving forward. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Scorpios, as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, spirituality and spirituality and where they should take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Scorpios? Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Let me put these back for just a second. We have some room, some room here. And let's see what these cards have to say. Mm-hmm. A lot of things happen with a lot of people in 2020, but moving forward in 2021, things are just kind of sort of like for, for some people, like I said, new moon, you're starting to recognize some wonderful things within yourself and what it is you want, what it is you don't want. A lot of people are still healing from some relationships. It could have been work relationships, personal, um, pl both platonic personal as well as romantic personal, but nevertheless, a lot of people are still healing from a lot of things. I see financial independence for you all. Yeah. Yeah. Financial independence for you all. I see lots of um, prospects for uh, for a lot of you all. See this wand right here in the back representing your past, but you're not looking back at your past. You may be thinking about it, but you're not looking back. You're looking forward to the future for you. Look at all these prospects. A lot of you all will be traveling. Yes, yeah, so get ready, get ready, get ready. Because like I see financial independence. I see financial independence. A lot of you all are in expectancy mode right now, as you should be. See this person right here? They have their, um, you know, kind of foot one foot up, kind of sort of looking over out over expansion. You're expecting expansion in your lives. So keep on expecting it because it's coming, coming, coming. And I know a lot of you all can see that some feel some wonderful things happening, especially as um, water signs, you know, you all can feel what's happening. It's just like you just feeling in the air, you know, something about your um, sacral chakra being in alignment and you just like, okay, something feels good inside of me. Like there's a gushing river. There's a gushing flow of energy inside of me right now. I'm just feeling really, really good about life. Just replenishing myself, right? Um, 
Five of Pentacles, a lot of you all were emotionally wounded when it came to money, but get ready for this vault to open. Look at this right here. Here we have the key to that, that door right there to unlock this vault. So a lot of you all were feeling emotionally wounded when it came to money, but get ready for that door to open because, like I said, financial independence. Here we go. This is how a lot of you all will be feeling very soon, having this childlike exuberance, getting your power your uh, your power and your, your identity back. Yes, yes, yes. Tapping into that divine masculine energy. Yeah, your intuition is heightened more than ever before. This is a full moon. This is where you're getting to the full moon, right? Because it has to. The moon has to go through those stages. So some of you all, like I said, are still healing, trying to replenish your energies. Some people are in a tricky love situation right now, but it won't be tricky for long because the more and more you become illuminated from the inside, and the more and more you're replenishing your own energies and you're balancing things out, you'll start to make clearer decisions and feel so much better about them. Yes, 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 indeed. So let's say this, the I am, I am a Scorpio. I like to usually start out with the I am's. I am a Scorpio. Yes, yes, yes. I am focused. I am brave. I am loyal. I am faithful. I am ambitious. I am resourceful. I am a true friend. I am passionate. Yes. And there are times that I'm stubborn, but in a good way, right? But see, this time you all are not going to be stubborn. It's more like, you know what? The stubborn part comes from saying, I'm not going to budge this where I am right now, replenishing my energies. And I feel my intuition is, is information is being downloaded into my spirit right now. I'm not budging from where I am right now. This feels too great of energy. I know what, what lies on the, who, um, what lies before me, right? What's on the horizon for me, right? Let's talk briefly. Cause you all know how I do my readings. You start out with started telling the story and then we incorporate numbers in here. So what's happening with a lot of people, when we talk about the number 18 and the number nine, we know that 18 intensifies the number nine, right? So nine we know is a regenerative number, a rebirth number, but nine also represents power and wisdom moving forward. Or, I mean, uh, it also represents having a wonderful mind and the ability to retain and repurpose knowledge. It also represents, it resonates, like I said, um, with the letter R in the Pythagorean numerology system. It's attached to um, being regal and royalty. And so that means that your thoughts are meant to rise above the norm and you're seeking higher understanding and wisdom. So again, this is a rebirth. For a lot of people, this is a rebirth and you're moving towards that. Some of you all have already done it, but some of you all are moving towards that direction because some people are still in a tricky love situation, but it's not gonna be tricky for long. All of the answers are coming. Like I said, you felt emotionally wounded when it came to money, but get ready. Like get ready, get ready, get ready because you don't have to be in a tricky love situation. You can make a decision today. You really could make a decision today. But of course, because like I said, you all are fixed signs. You all are very loyal people. Um, but this is about you being loyal to you, what makes you happy. So a lot of people are kind of, like I said, replenishing. You're replenishing that supply of good energy within yourselves. Some people are, like I said, clinging to um, people who are on, on a higher frequency or on their same frequency. Some of you all are starting to take nature walks, you know, listening to your high vibration music. You got your diffusers out with your... Um, your um, uh, certain essential oils and all kinds of things happening for you all. But you all are kind of sort of, like I said, in a, in a period of rebirth. And again, this is the vibration of the numbers 18 and 9 in the letter R. Remember, the letter R is associated with 18 and 9 in the Pythagorean numer numerology system, okay? All right, because I know people ask me, well, how does R fit into all of that? In the Pythagorean numerology system, you'll see how letters and numbers are aligned. So yes, it is associated with those numbers. So let's get to the second part of this reading. Yeah. So somebody, like I said, is your intuition is telling you exactly what you need to do. A lot of you all are starting to pay close attention to what your intuition is saying because it's always been powerful. Somebody is in a very toxic relationship. It's still in a very toxic relationship. Um, wow. Okay. Look at this. <clears throat> This star card is Aquarius's card. We know we're in Aquarius season, right? So a lot of you all are focusing on um, your individuality, right? So let's put this right here. And your uniqueness, 
What makes you stand out? Justice card. Somebody, this is moral justice and also court justice too. Somebody get ready to, this is your, your energies being balanced out. Somebody get ready to win in court. Yes, somebody get ready to win in court. Like I said, you've been doing the work on yourself. A lot of information is being downloaded into your spirit. This is the high priestess. A lot of information is being downloaded into your spirit. Things are coming to you. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a tricky situation at all. You already know what to do. This is how the end comes out for you. You're feeling positive. You're feeling brave. You're feeling great. You're just feeling alive again. Just feeling great, great, great. This sun card is Leo's card. But this is your outcome. Yes. Good karma is happening for you. So it won't, it'll, for some people, it'll feel like luck, but it's because you've been putting that good energy out in the universe. And it's because you've been replenishing your energy, but you've been replenishing your energies with good karma. And so you've been saying good things. You've been speaking good things. You've been speaking to your highest self, your highest self, and you've been speaking well of other people. And so it'll feel like luck, but there's no such a thing as luck. This is good karma coming your way. Good karma. Yes. This person that right here that you were with, the devil, yes, like I said, this person was toxic. I always say this about people. I always say, 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 look, sometimes two good people are just not good for each other. And the longer people stay together, they bring out the worst in each other. They absolutely can bring out the absolute worst for each other. So again, like I said, when I say good justice, I mean, uh, moral justice is in your favor. Some people don't have a court date coming up, but I'm saying moral justice is in your favor. Your intentions were pure, pure. They were sincere. You were very loyal the whole nine yards. And so not to say that this person wasn't, but again, if let's say for instance, this also represents, this also represents, um, fear and doubt. So there could have been some fear and doubt on the other person's side, but nevertheless, you all were not on the same frequency. Okay. So we don't have to say anything negative about a person. You all just were not on the same frequency, you know, whatever, let the universe handle it. However, the universe is going to handle it. Yes. Again, stepping into the vibrations of the number eight and the, the number nine, you are in a rebirth stage right now. And the other side of that is childlike exuberance. That vault is opening up. Uh, financial independence, everything. So yes, 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 yes. Right now, healing hearts. That's why I like to pull Oracle cards. He look at the healing your heart. That's what you're doing. Again, you're spending time with people that is on your same frequency. You're putting out good energy into the universe and life is feeling, life is feeling good for you because you're at a place right now where you are healing, right? And so when you're in that healing state, for some people, it feels like it hurts more before it gets better, but every single day you're just growing stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, and your light is illuminating more. It's growing within. Remember, the waxing moon is growing within more and more and more every day, and so... Like I said, you are heal your heart is healing. You're at a very pivotal point in your life right now. So just stay focused. Continue to continue putting out good energy in the universe and watch how wonderful everything comes back to you. Like things that you just didn't even imagine happening for you. But again, you all are some pretty solid, stable, um, wonderful, very loyal people, Scorpios. And so again, Sometimes two good people are just not good for each other because you all are not one, not on the same frequency. And two, people sometimes don't understand their power of being able to tap into both sides of their duality. That's extremely important, extremely important. So again, it could have been a situation where you were over nurturing a situation where you were in take, involved with a taker. The taker could have been on the divine feminine or the divine masculine side. Or they may have thought that about you, but nevertheless, things work out in your favor. So congratulations to you, Scorpio. That is what I have for you, Scorpios. That is what I have for you. I love, love, love this for you because I always hear so many negative things about Scorpios, but this works out in your favor. Like I said, it's a very pivotal point in your life right now, Scorpios. And again, we're talking about the letter R. We're talking about the numbers 18 and 9. And when you think about the letter R, think of it this way. R has a vertical line on the left and is and a round loop at the top of it, representing a big head full of ideas and wisdom, like the letter P, except 
The letter R has a leg that reaches out to the right into the future and creates forward momentum. And that's where you all are going. You all are looking towards the future. You are creating forward moment, uh, forward momentum. And that's where your mind is headed. Like, okay, I, I got it, all the information I need to get. I'm moving forward. Yes. And they pot onward and upward. That's what's happening with you, Scorpio. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Bye.